the media said, Captain Johnson, what is your plan? Well, deep down, I wanted to say, I just found out that I was going to be charged <laughs> When I went home last night, I didn't come up with anything to do different today. <laughs> so all I could say was, I was going to do something different. I had a goal. And those are my hands. And my goal was not to have any blood on my hands. When well, you're in chaos and you can't find your way and you can't see, the only thing that can guide you is your own moral compass. Because when you can't see, you can follow that compass, and it will direct you, and it will lead you. So I began to walk down the street, just so I could see what I was going to leave, and how I could come up with a plan. But I couldn't come up with a plan unless I could see what I was facing. They said, thank you for coming out to hear our voice, and to see our face, and not look beyond us. On the surface, it seemed that they were protesting the shooting between a law enforcement officer and a young man. It seemed like it was an issue of black and white. But as I walked those streets of West Morrison and Ferguson, I found out it was about education. And one day, when I was in West Morrison, a family from India came. He said, we traveled here just to talk to you. And we want you to know that what you're out here doing is a bigger picture. You need to be out here standing for humanity. We have things that we need to work on. Yes. But embracing our differences, we're willing to do that. And we're going to do that and we're going to be better. We're going to be a great example for this nation. It's not about getting credit for what you do. It's about doing what you should do. I thank you very much.